who wants to make Starbucks dupe cake pops. to Betsy. Y'all out here paying three dollars for them Starbucks cake pops. Stop. Stop what you're doing. I'm gonna teach y'all how I've been doing my cake pops and they are so close to Starbucks that my people can't tell the difference. So let's get started guys. First things first, I whipped up a box of this Duncan Hines perfectly moist classic white cake mix with three eggs, a cup of water, and a half a cup of oil. And we are going to bake this as directed by the box. Very easy. A 13 by 9 says 23 to 28 minutes on 350 degrees. We just pulled our cake out of the oven. It is piping hot, and we're gonna let it sit on the countertop and cool. You could put it in your refrigerator if you wanted to, but we're just gonna let it sit on our countertop and cool for a little bit, and we'll be back. Once the cake has cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and just tear this cake apart. Just take all my anger out on this cake. Try to avoid the edges and the sides if you at all possibly can, just because those pieces tend to be a little bit on the crunchy side, and we just want fluffy cake. You can use your hands here if you want to, but um, to avoid all of the unnecessary comments that I know I would get if I use my hands, I'm going to use forks. I'm just kidding. You guys are pretty cool. After I get the cake ripped to shreds, I always add it to a bowl, and next we're going to add in some frosting. I usually use the Duncan Hines, um, just creamy vanilla, and you're going to add in about a half of the container. Don't do any more than that because I think I put a little bit too much in this batch and they were a little runny, but they were still delightful. And next we're just going to combine these two ingredients together and make somewhat of a, it ends up looking kind of like cookie dough, honestly. If you have not subscribed yet, I would love to invite you to do so. Just hit the red button down below and all on notifications. And that way you will not miss any of my future uploads. Next, I grab a pan with either some tin foil, you can use parchment paper if you like. And I have this cake ball maker here that I got off of Amazon. Anything that you see me use, I will link down below. You obviously do not need to purchase any of this stuff. I have purchased this stuff over the course of years. So um, don't feel like you need to purchase any of this stuff. Um, you can definitely roll them out by hand. This kind of just helps shape them and make sure that they are all the same size. It doesn't like do all the work for you, which was what I was hoping because I'm lazy. I still have to kind of roll them together because I noticed that if I didn't, it looked like either a butt or a brain whenever I dipped them in. Nobody wants to eat butt and brain. I know whenever I make cake pops, I feel like I spend an eternity just rolling out little balls, but honestly, it pays off, guys. These things are so good, and um, honestly, if you want to, you could make several batches at once, and then maybe even freeze them, or I, put, I always put mine in the refrigerator just because I, just, I feel like that preserves them a little bit better. You can definitely change this um, up based on the holiday. You can make little bats if you want to, if you are creative. I'm not getting into all that because I would just be saying some bad words trying to make different shapes and stuff like that. But please do. And if you do, let me know which you, which ones you make. You can do all kinds of different shapes and sizes with these cake pops. You don't have to just do round balls. <laughs> The next step is getting the sticks secured into the little balls. I'm using this chocolate maker candy wafer in pink that I got at Walmart. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in a bowl and microwave it. Um, just because I don't need that much quite yet. I don't need the whole pack quite yet. 
and then I picked these treat sticks up at Walmart but you can definitely get them off of Amazon I'll link some that I have purchased in the past down below and then you're just gonna dip your stick into the candy melt and then put a stick into each cake pop Up next, I'm going to go ahead and put my cake pops into my deep freezer. If you just want to put them in your regular freezer, that's completely fine too. But definitely leave them in here for about 20 to 30 minutes to allow the cake pop to kind of set a little bit and not fall into a clump once you <laughs> stick it into the candy melts. Let's go ahead and get the candy prepped, guys. So I poured the rest of the candy melts into my little chocolate pro thing. I've had this thing for probably at least 10 years. And the trick is to add about a tablespoon of coconut oil or some kind of unflavored oil into your candy melts because if not, the stuff is like gonna look like glue. I also picked up this cake pop holder off of Amazon, game changer. You can use styrofoam if you like, you don't have to buy that. The main tip that I have for you guys is to pull these out of the freezer about 10 at a time because as they're sitting on the countertop, they get back room temperature and then they start to fall apart. So just pull them out a little at a time and dip as you go. A lot of people will use like a tall glass cylinder or something like that and melt their candy melts in the microwave, which is absolutely, you can do that do that if that's what you got um, that way you can get your cake pop kind of down in there better i always tap mine on the side just a little bit to get any of the excess candy coating off so they don't drip but they sometimes end up dripping anyway it's not a big deal and i found these wilton like sprinkles that totally make them look like you bought them from starbucks and I'm having a hard time finding them again for some reason. So we're gonna have to figure something out with that. These cake pops set up really quickly, like within a couple of minutes, they have hardened. So beware because your family will have them eaten before you have them all made. I know that because that has happened to me in the past. As we're getting to the end of this lovely process of cake pop making, I did want to let you guys know that I will type out the recipe that I use for this cake pop that I'm making here down in my description box below. That will be under the title of the video. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope that you decide to make some cake pops for your family. They're absolutely so much fun. The kids love them. The adults love them. And I promise you that they'll be gone. Let me know down in the comments below if you decide to make them. Let me know how it went for you. I would love to hear from you guys. Thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.